What is up, people? We are finally back. We are finally back for some more Pokemon Legends of the Arena. And this is going to be the continuation from Take Two, which was recorded as some live stream sessions. As you may have already figured out, that this is a new recording software because the, the um, grief that was caused by the previous recording software I decided to go ahead and try something different all right so let's get right into it and we got to talk about the team there's no Curlia there's Gardevoir and the uh, floatzel that I have now is garbage garbage nature all right our house got flooded so now we're camping out here that sucks my trousers are soggy, my shoes are soaked. It's a hard life in Ironside Village. I bet this tournament will attract northerners from across the sea. Lousy northerners don't do nothing for nobody. So many double negatives. Just traded some useless fish I caught with the dumb kid. Somebody got swindled, people. Where do you think you're going, son? Harvest closed until further notice. Alright, so we're not going anywhere on the ship. Hey. Hey. Got that nugget. Got money. That's what we got. Head this way. This I want to go inside, but my Poliwhirl won't stop dancing. Seriously, it's weird. Why would a Pokemon do such a thing? It's that rain dance. Making it rain on them hoes. Alright, this is bad. We've got important goods coming in from the north. Lousy northerners, it's all their fault. How exactly? I I could sail a ship through this if I was blind drunk and missing me arms. But as soon as one lousy drop falls from the sky, they all run inside and watch TV. I've never even seen a TV before. And look how I turned out. Like how I had no comment. Town Hall. Alright, let's go. Town Hall's not in use right now. Sorry. Mr. Pocket's swing brother or something. Let's run across Sion. I think Dad's losing it a bit. He hasn't moved away from the window in hours. So I check out this old man. Aye, the storm foreshadows something. Something wicked. Something dark. No good can come of it. Okay. Step over here. Bill's house, all merchandise over here. I think I need to buy some Pokeballs. I used them all up. Welcome, how may I serve you? Hello? He only has two items. What the hell? You can't serve me. My husband sells goods we received from the north, but our latest shipment hasn't arrived yet. I fear something has terrible has. What? I think it's just supposed to be terrible. That's it. Anyways. To the, in the midst of this storm. Please, would you help us find our lost shipment? Okay, I can do that. Good. Now I suspect that the ship carrying our goods has run aground. The rocks around the village are treacherous in this kind of weather. I would recommend searching the shore north of the village. Alright, we will do. Please hurry, we're depending on you. Because you sure ain't depending on Bill. Motherfucker. Well, there's some stuff popping off over there. Let's go talk to this guy. You call this a storm? Huh? Huh? A drizzle is what it is, I say. It's a fisherman. Man, it's crazy. You took your time. I was enjoying a nice walk. What's going on here then? Gabriel's talking to the mayor about something. Seems as if there's a problem. Okay, everybody. We're uh, going to the town hall. Everyone meet us there. Hey, Mikey, some fishermen just traded Pokemon with me. 
Really? What did you get? I traded that stupid pinecone for a Phoebus. That's a good Pokemon, right? Uh... What? It's not a good Pokemon? It gets better after a while. Starts off a bit weak, you know? Oh. We should go to the town hall. That boy. No help for him. But you have to appreciate his, uh... Enthusiasm. We go confront this man. Hey man, that was my brother. Eh, whatever. What? You better be glad I got more important things to do than deal with Joe. Yeah. Let's go in here. So what are we gonna do about it? What can we do? As I said, it's too dangerous to go out there. We'll wait for the storm to pass. But that could take days, weeks. Look, who are you to question my authority? I'm the mayor of this town. I don't have to answer to people like you. People like me? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Enough! Now she sat down real quick. What's going on? As I explained to your friends, let me crash her. Mikey, this storm is taking its toll. The stadium suffered some damage and we're having to fix the roof. But that's not the worst of it. The lighthouse at the edge of the village has gone dark, meaning lives are in danger. We've lost contact with the lighthouse keeper too. And the bridge to reach the lighthouse has collapsed into the bay. We've got a group of men out at sea bringing in fish. If they can't see the shore, they'll almost certainly hit the rocks. So what can we do? We can't wait for the storm to pass if lives are in danger. I agree. Is there some other way to get to the lighthouse without crossing the bridge? Aye. There's a path through the rocks east of the town. It's dangerous though, very dangerous. We call the area the Light Brinestone Labyrinth. If it's formed a natural maze-like structure, easy to get lost in. But if someone could find their way through there, then maybe. Oh, oh come on! Really, there's no one else who's remotely eligible? Come on, Mikey, take one for the team. But I, I even went through Flooded Cave and. Fine, but you guys owe me back. Thanks, Mikey. You should take the easterly exit out of t town and follow the path. We'll wait here for your safe return. <laughs> Thanks, guys, really. Good luck. Tuh. Skank. Sorry, partner, I'd offer my assistance. But I like being dry. G good luck, Mikey. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Try not to fall off a cliff, though. That would be bad. It's been... Good luck, bro. Try not to die on the way there. Cheers, buddy. All y'all. <clears throat> I got... I got the finger for y'all, alright? Let's go over here. He hasn't reported in for hours. What are we going to do? I'm not going out there to check he's okay, if that's what you mean. Get out of the way, both of you. Aye, why should we? Because I said so. Move. Fine, I was getting wet anyway. So, any excuse to get out of work. Brian's on Labyrinth, we're already there. Let's keep on trucking. Hey, you there! You're not thinking about heading into the Labyrinth alone, are you? Yes, I am actually. What are you going to do about it? Well, it's dangerous in there. Maybe I should teach you how to defend yourself. No, really, I'm okay. Yes, I'll teach you one of my techniques. Follow. Now, when you see a rock like this, go for a quick... Yeah. And look, the rock is gone. Can I go now? Here's my technique passed down from my ancestors. Oh, it's a rock smash. Hey, Jim. Very nice. Pray, child. Use this gift wisely. I'm sure it shall be invaluable in your endeavors. Thanks a billion. Alright, so he gave us rock smash. Let's teach it to somebody. 
Floto, you really look like a candidate. Very nice. Alright. So that's taken care of. It's not that way. It looks like a box in there. Let's go back this way. Alright. So we can get back here and get this. Hey! Warning, do not provoke any wild kingler. They have been known to attack travelers. It can be very dangerous. <clears throat> alright. Well, we ain't scared of no damn kinglers, alright? We crush kinglers into the ground. Or shock them. Alright? Oh, it's a crabby. Let's go ahead and rock smash. That one looks bigger, that's probably the king right here. <clears throat> Find that lucky egg. We just use that. There we go. And let's go confront this guy. And block him like that. Kingler. Oh, they kill. Oh, we got the hacks. The hacks, people. The hacks. I love it. Hey, look at that experience. Goodness. Should be able to kill it with the charge. Okay, well, I was about to get scared. That was a super effective. We didn't do that much damage. Looking good. That was quick. Right. Let's do a swap. <clears throat> set up for the next um, encounter. Got a big pearl. Very nice. There's something back this way. <clears throat> Nothing that way. <clears throat> Let's see what's over here. There's a box back there. I see it.
he wants to use uh, me. <clears throat> coming through on power. Hey, we could use those. Definitely use those. See, when I was um, <clears throat> getting that lucky egg in that um, Pokemon search thing in Citrus Gardens, used up all my Pokeballs, so now I don't have any. <clears throat> on uh, lemonades they recover 80 HP and they only cost 350 <clears throat> which I thought was very nice Nothing that way. It's a dead end. I gave it um, a held a hold item that increased the power of grass moves. <clears throat> that rose incense, yeah. All right, so we'll put Gardevoir up front. Give the lucky egg to it. <clears throat> oh yeah, now when I was in um closet down I went to that herbal shop and I found some uh, items that um, revive your fainted Pokemon and fully restore your HP which I figured that would be pretty useful since revives don't um, fully restore you whenever you um, use one so let us um, <clears throat> Escape rope. Hey. Hey. What is this way? There's an opening. That's why we get out. Let me go check this out.
That thing can't take a hit, so we better make sure we keep it on top of the hill. Sounds like Grappler. Alright, looks like we're out of the labyrinth, but there's a box over there in this corner. How the heck do we get in there? That's weird. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like we made it out of the uh, labyrinth. There's a couple of guys down here. We're gonna stop right here guys it's a um, good welcome back episode and we will continue right here let me save the game real quick like <clears throat> and in the next episode we'll start right here and we will see what is up with these two uh, individuals standing over here by the rocks all right I'll catch you guys in the next episode it feels good to be back recording this, and I will see you guys next time. I quit!